Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Vortac. Welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, in the last episode, we started researching, and we first started researching stone cutting, which is almost complete. We also started getting a new fridge underway, dug into the, you know, uh, I'm reluctantly digging back here to start growing our base. We, we may get there in the future. Uh, but for now, I am just trying to get a secure base with some really good, uh, nice stone walls. We don't have to worry about fire in the future and things like that. Uh, so that's kind of what's going on today. I just sent basically everyone inadvertently by uh, <laughs> all the way south to start mining just because they have nothing else going on and they are all allowed to mine. That's what they're doing. But that's going to soon change because what I want to do for the beginning of this episode is while we wait for the research to finish is fancy the prison up a little bit. I want a table back here. I want a light in there. That'll keep people uh, in the prison nice and happy and easy to convert as time goes on. I want another battery and a little more power being generated in our colony as well. And uh, before we know it, we'll be able to start stone cutting. So, let's get to work. I'm going to throw an extra solar panel down right here. And an extra battery down as well. Right in here. Now, with those two things, I'm hoping that's enough. I can put a fourth solar panel, but I'm really trying not to. I, I really want to keep researching and start taking advantage of this geyser down here for future power endeavors. The other thing we to keep telling you guys I'm going to do, and I don't do, is deconstruct a wall here to see what's back here. Perhaps we can make an amazing prison just with the empty space back there. Or perhaps there's some kind of terrible danger or some very valuable resource that we're totally missing that would really help us out. Uh, but anyway, before we do that, let's, let's haul away these. And let's go ahead and grab a piece of furniture, like a table. And we'll do, we'll do this out of wood. I'm going to put a little wooden table back here and a couple of stools. A little eating nook, if you will. So, whoever has the misfortune of being our prisoner gets a place to just sit down and eat. Uh, in fact, I can also put a light. I was going to maybe put a light in this corner and the stools here, but instead I'll just put a light right back here. That should do. And we'll need to wire that. And there's no, other than this wall back here, there's no easy way to do that without, like, just bringing an ugly power cord straight across. Perhaps, like, that. And perhaps I can make an effort to dig this out. While you guys are in here, just do it. Just deconstruct that, somebody. Vortac, go ahead, make this a priority. Deconstruct the steel wall. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Area revealed. It's perfect. Look at that. It's a perfect little clean room. Okay. I'm glad I did that. Uh, let's... This is going to be interesting for the design of our prison. <laughs> I was going to say, let's uh, take a step back here. So I guess what we could do is punch out this wall, punch out all this steel here, and I can make little cells if I want. We can really get a good prison going. And when you get raided by a lot of people, you end up filling a prison relatively quick. And if we want to make we want to make it an area where we can easily convert folks, that's going to help a lot. So, I think we should go off the plat the the platform, the uh, plan for this room and just kind of dig in and really get a decent prison going. That's awesome. But for now, we'll have some power, we'll have some stuff going on in there. It, it's still they'll feel like they have some room, I guess, until I get that going. Cool. We can do a whole prison episode if we want. Kind of like Prison Architect. So, nice. We got the power going. And there it is. Stone cutting complete. I was just about to check on him. So, let's do that next. Production. I need a stone cutter's table. For now, the stone cutter's table will be in this room. Kind of the rumpus room, as I like to call it. And I'm going to take a door. Where is that? Under structure. Let's just take like a little wooden door. And put that right here. Like that. I'm going to take a stockpile. And I'm going to put that right there. Now this is going to be for nothing but chunks. That's all we want in this stockpile. Nothing else. No, 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 no. Just chunks. Chunks are rocks. Chunks are stone chunks and slag chunks. Both are fine. And that will keep everything... In one area, I'm going to take the dumping stockpile and say no to chunks. 
So they're going to have to move the stone that's here into here, and we can also stick a hauling order on the stone around the base. But we already have a lot of stuff to fill that little area up with, so I'm not going to go too crazy. But once we do that, we can have them begin stone cutting infinitely. And our primary crafter slash stone cutter will just work on that forever. And before we know it, we'll have tons of stone to use as walls for the base. And that will get us away from using all this wood, which will be great. Now here's a problem I want to show you guys the solution to. Because when I first started playing RimWorld, I had no idea how to fix this. But it really kills their mood, as you can see. Mojo is still giving me the alert that he does not enjoy being outside in the daytime when he could be sleeping. So... I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. What you do is you go into somewhere down here, assign, restrict, restrict. And this is their schedule. It looks kind of boring, like a weird graph. But what you see here is actually the, uh, the, the way you get them to change the, what they do during the day. So sleeping happens at 2200 hours. And that's, you know, well into the night. We want Mojo to sleep during the day and do all Mojo's work at night because that's what's going to make Mojo happy. So, obviously, we just want to set the sleeping schedule to be like... We still want, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, so eight hours of sleep. We still want eight hours of sleep. And we just want that in the heart of the day. So I think we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, that's most of the day right there, and we can do unrestricted on the rest of this time. It's not going to be perfect, and of course we can do, um, you know, we can let Mojo sleep longer if we want. We can fix that however we can move this chunk of time to the left or right, whatever we need to do. Uh, but this will give Mojo the option to go, okay, I don't need to be doing this crap when I'd rather be sleeping. So, that's great. Uh, I'm glad I got that alert. Now, we can also go ahead and check out the traits of all the characters to see if anyone else needs that. Um, if we click on Mojo, you can see traits. Dislikes women, neurotic, and night owl. So if anyone else has the night owl trait, we're going to want to accommodate that. And I don't see night owl just on Mojo. All right, so Mojo's our night owl. That's cool. That works out very well because Mojo, we, uh, if we go into work, is really good at construction and repairing. So any construction project that was outstanding in the day, that's going to get done at night now. So, cool. Let's put a bill on the stone cutter's table now that that's done. I'm going to make stone blocks. And we can go ahead and do that forever. And we can go ahead and also restrict certain things too. Do we want them to use different, you know, what chunks do we want them to use? Do we want them to allow rotten, organic things? Not really. Uh, and there we go. So stone cutting is going to happen forever. So when that person's not sleeping, they're going to be cutting stone. Yeah, hey, we got a dead raccoon frozen now. Cool. Once we get a butcher table, and that actually I should go ahead and do because we need them to have meat. Winter is coming, as you know. Uh, butcher table. We're going to make it out of wood. I'm going to put that right here. That's going to be a little Vortex little area when he's cooking. He's going to butcher small animals and uh, use those. Now, they're eating raw potatoes. Something's gone wrong. Hold on a second. Fine meal cook forever. Simple meal cook forever. And we did set Vortex to cook forever, right? Yeah. Vortex is a pri primarily going to worry about cooking. I guess what's going on is there's not enough to cook with. Those potatoes are not providing them enough food. All right. That is a concern. So, we need berries. Do we have any more berry bushes laying around? You know what? I'm not seeing any. I don't know if we got rid of those as we harvested them or the season changed and they just disappeared. But that's unfortunate. Now, a way to fix this problem is to obviously have them hunt. There's a wild turkey, there's a couple boars, there's a couple turkeys. Interesting. I'm going to put a hunting order on these turkeys. I'm doing that because we're out of food. I'm going to put a hunting order on these too. But now that we're going to have a butcher's table, we should be able to fix that problem. We just don't want to upset the timber wolves because those will make for a very bad day. <laughs> Okay, my other concern is who has a weapon? Who's a good hunter? I never set anyone as a hunter. Vortec can hunt, and I imagine Vortec has a weapon, because... Yes, Vortec has a great weapon. 
So Vortex is now a primary hunter. When there's nothing to cook, Vortex will hunt. So let's just hope Vortex does not get himself into some kind of trouble. After a decent breakfast, Vortex begins shooting down the turkeys. Wow, that's loud. Get him. Luckily, turkeys don't attack back. <laughs> there he goes. The only problem with our cook being the hunter is this. Watch. Oh, or not. Oh, I didn't put a butcher bill down. If I did, Vortex would immediately take the turkey that was just hunted and start butchering it. Which isn't a bad thing. You really don't want your cook to be a primary uh, hunter as well. But he's just the one with the weapon right now. Let's check and make sure. Ween has a shiv. Mullen has nothing. Mojo has a... Uh, what's this? A lock club, a limestone club. And Burrito has nothing. So Vortex is the only one really qualified to be... Uh, Shooting up animals. Now, I could do this. I could do something else. I could have uh, Weem. Because Weem wasn't terrible at cooking. I could have Weem also a primary cook, but not a hunter. Or I could just give someone else the gun. But Vortex good at hunting. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it for now. I won't put a hunting bill. We just need the meat. Uh, you know, one thing at a time, right? Boom, boom, boom. Don't upset the timber wolves. You're shooting real close to those timber wolves. I guess it's fine. They they seem to don't you know not mind uh, all at all, <laughs> and they should mind because we're taking their food. Oh, we have a problem. Mullen is eating an entirely unbutchered raw turkey. Oh my God! Stop! Stop what you're doing right now. Trivial mal malnutrition. Okay, okay. Let's put the butcher bill up. Let's not have butcher creature forever, please. Okay. I've made a mistake. He's eating... This was dinner for everyone. He's eating an entire turkey, feathers and all. Oh, okay, no. He just ate chunks out of it. Vortex is going to go to butcher, butcher that, and there's going to be bite marks just out of the back and the tail. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, well, but, but Vortex is going to come back and butcher some things. And, I mean... These are almost ready to be harvested. I'm going to throw up a little bit, I think. It looks like we got that done just in time because Mojo's bad mood was now because of starvation. Everyone was starving. And, uh... Wow, that's still a decent amount of meat for a turkey. That, that was half-eaten by a colonist. <laughs> totally raw. Uh, Vortex got some meals for them now. Not enough, definitely, but it's something. Um, and Vortex now taking time to hunt again. This is great. I'm going to put a hunting order on some more critters down here uh, because we need it. What's this? An emu. I'm not going to mess with that. An ostrich. Ostriches in real life can be very mean, but I'm going to hunt that as well. I'm just going to take a risk. I don't know if an emu is going to give us trouble or not, but uh, I'm just going to rely on Vortac to do that for us. I'm going to hunt this turkey that's in our base, too, and this thing. Everything is, uh, is fair game at this point. Oh, my God. I'm trying to find research projects, and now we have a fire. Okay, so I said everyone's priority as number one firefighting, which is why Ween jumped out of bed and got that done, luckily. Um, and that's exactly why we don't want to build out of wood forever. We're working to change that. Now, if we look at our main stockpile, you'll see we have a decent amount of granite, uh, or slate blocks and granite blocks, which is cool. I'm going to have them start getting that farm done. Uh, let's go into structure and make, out of slate, some nice little farming area for us to work with. It's going to be a bit before they get that done, I think. Just judging by how much slate we have and how much that's going to cost. But it'll be a good start. And uh, it'll encourage me to start tearing down these walls and replacing them little by little with slate. Wood floor is kind of what I'm still leaning towards using because stone floor is very expensive. But we don't want to be doing that forever. We can also use steel pretty cheaply to make a concrete floor and just keep the place relatively fireproof. Uh, <laughs> Vortex still hunting. Uh, loud as hell. But we're getting there. <sighs> a lot of little problems. And we're, I think we're about to get a raid. I just feel it coming on. It's been so long since we've had one. And I just feel like that's about to happen for us. So the other thing I really wanted to do if we have the components and, this, and the resources... I wanted to make another turret or two, and I wanted to put it on this grid here, because it's just, it's wide open back here. So, because it's kind of bottlenecked right here, I'm not as worried about it. I should, I'm going to eat those words, I know I am. Let's go ahead and do a couple more turrets. Uh, improvised turret. Now, I want it hooked up, it's telling me it's going to get power from that line, so... About right there would be a good spot for one. And right... Hmm, we want them to be kind of far apart. 
Oh, but we want it to be on the switch too. So perhaps right there. They're kind of close, but it'll work. It'll it'll work. Let's get those built. Because we need defenses. There we go. I do not want to be caught with my pants down. Wow, they got that done a lot quicker than I thought they would. Look at that. Holy cow, the whole farm's like done. Okay. Now, a mistake I used to make live streaming is when you make a room this big and you try to tear... I was going to tear down this wall and just let there be four farms back to back. You don't want to do that because there's a, there's a problem in the middle. The roof will cave in. So we want to leave that spot. But we do also want to deconstruct just like that for now. We'll, we'll worry about getting it replaced with stone as we go. But that will get us a nice big farming room. If I make sun lamps, we can see them. You know, I should, I should need... I don't know, maybe like, how big is a sun lamp in terms of a radius that it lights? Is that in, in under uh, uh, miscellaneous? Yeah, that's pretty good. If I do two well-placed sun lamps, I might be able to do, no, we're gonna need probably four, sadly. Ugh, barely though, like three well-placed sun lamps. But yeah, that was the idea of taking down the walls, so the light floods everything. Uh, we'll get there, but you can kind of see what I'm going for. It turns out I've made a bit of a mistake. I just deleted the sun lamp here, and they used the components from it to make a turret. <laughs> so we need to quickly have them mine components, and there are some right there, so that'll give us some. Uh, it should be about uh, two in each one of those veins. And that'll get us our lamps back, hopefully pretty quick. In the meantime, what I'm going to try to do is delete the roof. Clear build roof area. Hmm. That's the build roof area. I could clear it. Clear no, expand no roof area. I can make that here. Actually, you know, are these fully grown? They're 99% grown. And they're losing life pretty quick. Okay, well, since it's going to take us a minute, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Expand no roof area. Boom, right there. No roofs allowed. Are they gonna do it? And yes, it looks like they have to manually deconstruct roofs now, but it's it works. It's kind of a waste of time, but at least our crops won't die, and we really need those right now, as you can tell from our stockpile, which is not that fantastic. Uh, and they're planting and harvesting. Good, good, good. So it's it could be worse, but it works. I think we're about to uh, call it an episode, though. We get, it was slightly chaotic this time. I feel like it maybe been a short episode, shorter episode than normal. But we did get a lot done. We have a ton of stone to work with now for our base, like we wanted. I can start replacing these walls pretty quick. I can start thinking about getting some new flooring in here. And uh, I think in the next episode, I'm going to start planning out their individual bedrooms because they're, that's going to start coming into play with their mood being like it is. Ooh, and I'm going to hunt that turkey too. He, I, can hear, I can hear him still hunting down there. <laughs> there it is. That ostrich wasn't so bad, was it? It's going to make a, a fine, fine, simple meal. If I had more potatoes, he'd start making some more fine meals, but whatever. But there we go, and we'll get another farm. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please leave a like down below, a comment if you will. I can get you added to the colony, no problem. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Peace out.